Welcome to another Dragon Ball Super episode review. This time we're looking at episode 61. Uh, wow, this this episode was really, 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 really amazing. Um, although I am really confused about one part. Uh, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Like We picked off almost immediately after where the last episode left off where they talk about, um, you know where this Zamas uh came from that it's the same Zamas that uh fought uh fought Goku uh in the past and succeeded his plans of using the super dragon balls to switch bodies with uh Goku um after killing a uh, Gawasu and um and we see a really kind of dark scene where uh they switch bodies and Goku's in Zamas his body and he's all freaking out and Chi Chi and Goten are all concerned and then Zamas comes back in Goku's body and kills Goku and then we see like Chi Chi and Goten look on horrified and uh quickly murders him. And we uh also see I don't know this part kinda of confused me. When they said he uh went to the past to meet the other Zamas uh but if he went to the past then or no if he went to no he said he went to the future to um get a Zamas that had not yet killed the Kaioshin the Gwasim or Gwasu I forget his name. His, his name's kind of weird. I, it's kind of, I, I kind of forget how to pronounce it. It doesn't quite make sense. It would, I thought I thought I'm betting it's a translation error because it would make more better sense if he went to the past to himself before he killed uh, Guas uh, to uh, recruit him, I guess. And they shared a very kind of awkward hug between the two, and it was you know kind of close and intimate, if you know what I mean, and. Uh, yeah, so then they explained how they used the Super Dragon Balls many, many times, I guess, uh, to the point where they felt that they met all their desires and uh, Zamas uh, destroyed the Super Dragon Balls. And, oh, uh, and basically, like, you know, started the Zero uh, Mortal Plan of going from timeline to timeline, killing every mortal every god oh yeah that's the one thing like not only did they want every mortal dead but they wanted every other uh god every other kaiosh every other kaioshin uh dead gone just so that basically that they could rule everything so it became a little bit more of a cliched uh evil tyrant plan but it's all right, I guess. Oh, and then right after uh, Goku finds out about what exactly happened to the Goten and Chi Chi from the other timeline, he gets, you know, really, really mad and has a really cool, badass moment uh, charging at uh, Black, uh, whipping his ass. And easily overpowering the immortal Zamas uh, to a point like we had a really cool part where he used his uh, teleportation, uh, appeared right before, right in front of Zamas, and be, like without even looking at him, knowing that he was behind, and just kind of bitch slapped him with his knuckles and sent him backwards. And that was really cool. But uh, Black was never really too concerned about this because, uh, the, especially. I mean, not even just to say in heritage, but like, just inherently for some reason, like he just pain just makes him stronger. So after just getting his ass whooped from Goku for a while, he gets even more stronger. He creates a giant uh, machete uh, energy thing and starts uh, whooping ass on Goku, and uh, looks like he's almost dead at this point. Considering, oh yeah, that he had a another energy beam through his torso earlier so they're nearly dead uh trunks and vegeta about to step in but trunks wants to take him on himself 
uh he quickly gets uh cal cast aside um but then we see a really really cool moment where you know trunks is uh having flashbacks uh to the t- to the time during the androids he's his anger starts building up and then uh he has a new transformation maybe i don't know it was really kind of confusing because his aura is like in the shape of the super saiyan blue aura where it's like not really spiky but it's like kind of more wavy but the aura is yellow but with a blue tint to it and his hair is so i think slightly more spiky he's lost his pupils much like how he did when he uh became the buff ultra super saiyan but it looks like his pupils are remain gone because in the flashback we see in the next episode his pupils are still gone and he has a blue lightning uh occasionally uh, going around him it looks like his hair was blue for a moment but then like it just kind of faded back into yellow so some people are dubbing this the super saiyan demigod i'm not sure if that's going to be a thing that sticks or this is going to be a permanent new form or just kind of like a somewhere in between of super saiyan and super saiyan blue that way if we've yet to uh come to find uh you have to find any information this is like totally brand new so i think it's really cool looking hopefully you know it's now all gone to waste uh it does make me really want a uh dragon ball super trunks sh figure so with this kind of hairstyle and eyes though i think that'd be sweet uh yeah really cool episode really gives you know finally some definitive answers between all the different zamas and the in the blacks you know origin about what happened what are they doing and get a really cool surprise with trunks uh not as dramatic of a reveal as i was kind of would have expected with trunks but still really cool and exciting uh if you want to watch the episode yourself please click the link in the description below uh you can subscribe to me here on youtube for the latest dragon ball news and reviews you can follow me at twitter at twitter.com slash ssj you can instagram me too ssj and i'll catch you next time